Hey everyone, it is Mona Hair Craft Clutch, and today we're going to do a little party planning. If you guys watch the Garbage to Gorgeous Brain Makeover, you'll know that we have a niece that is getting married to a gentleman from France, and they're getting married in France in September. And they both live in New York, but the family, most of the family lives in Illinois. So we have some limited time to throw any type of a shower or celebration um, of the couple before the wedding. And since they were going to be in town for the 4th of July, after much discussion, it was decided that that would be the best time to throw a little party together for them. Now with the party being on the 4th of July, that presents some problems because it just feels like a 4th of July get together rather than a party celebrating a couple. So we've tried to put some fun stuff together and try to create a very personal type of a party. And some of my crafts came in very handy, so you'll see those. I was in charge of the decorations and I thought that would be a breeze because it's right around the 4th of July, so you can find red, white, and blue everything. Um, France's flag is red, white, and blue, so that's perfect. And I thought I could easily find some napkins with the Eiffel Tower on there. Turns out everything for France is black and pink. I don't mind the black, but I can't mix hot pink or any kind of a French pink in with the red, white, and blue. I couldn't make that happen. So, so I began to panic because I had a limited time to make it happen. Um, I did find um, a French flag on online and a Eiffel Tower and a Statue of Liberty cake topper. I ordered those and they made it just in the nick of time. But that didn't really pack the punch that I was going for. So I was thinking and I was panicking and I thought Oriental Trading, they have stuff for every occasion. And boy did they come through. Shipping was fast. Um, they had the perfect stuff. So I'm going to take you through how everything came together. So I'll show you how I use some of my crafts, um, how I incorporated some other things and some of the really great oriental trading stuff. I started the day by prepping. I filled up the oriental trading Eiffel Tower boxes with the red, white, and blue mints and I added Oriental Trading red, white, and blue candy sticks to the 4th of July dollar store pieces that I recently made. And if you want to find that video, you can find it on my channel. It was to be outside on our terrace, which on any given day is pretty great, and that wouldn't do. So we started out putting up the French and American flags, which we attached to posts and stuck in the ground. Then we pulled out our red cushions and added the tablecloths. It was pretty windy, so we had to staple the tablecloth to the table. Then I added the picture frame that I recently did a makeover on in the Garbage to Gorgeous Frame makeover. And in it, I had a picture of the couple, which I had doctored up. And the groom had a Statue of Liberty crown and torch, and the bride was wearing a beret and a very French mustache. I created the centerpiece using the dollar store vase that I just recently did, um, adding the Eiffel Tower, but I also added um, some printed red, white, and blue paper behind it just to give it to keep with that red, white, and blue theme. And I added dollar store flags. Then we added another tablecloth to a storage box and I kept the Oriental Trading champagne glasses out of the way until the toast and the favor boxes out of the way till the end. It was also a perfect spot to place gifts and cards. We added the Oriental Trading cups and the great beverage dispenser for lemonade to the makeshift bar area. However, the real showstoppers were the Oriental Trading stand of Eiffel Tower and the Statue of Liberty that were flanking the flags. Now that made a statement. We continued trying to meld the two countries together with some items on our menu. We had brats on croissants. We were able to find some escargot that could be prepared on the grill and French pâté and crackers. Ooh la la! I just wanted to show you that you can combine different themes to make a party fun and personalize it to your guests. Some of my recent crafts and DIYs came in quite handy. I hope you enjoyed it. That was a little bit of a different video than I normally do, but I wanted to kind of just share some ideas. And I would love to know what kind of party you would throw if you could pick two very different themes and combine them, what would you do? Leave that in the comments below. Also remember, if you are looking for any of those crafts, we've got the, the vase, the Eiffel Tower vase, which by the way, you can change out to be whatever you want anytime. The 4th of July table decorations are easy to personalize to any event, any holiday, um, even like wedding colors. And then the frame makeover. Just find a junky old frame and give it new life. So be sure to check out those videos. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Thanks so much for watching and liking this video. We'll definitely see you next time. Happy crafting.